What I liked about the paper is there is nuance. We have some challenges and we need to address them. Every year we've seen some form of a PSM, Palestine Solidarity Movement, or a BDS conference taking place at one of the major universities. And in all cases where they've appeared, regardless of venue, no inroads, no accomplishments, headlines and move on. Throw a circus, three ring circus, everybody comes, get some media attention, move on. Attract 30 or 40 local students from a coalition of the absurd. And often attract the attention, resources of this community in a way that frankly is, is both disproportionate and uh, some are beginning to at least say out loud, perhaps uh, 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 counterproductive. It is also important to recognize from this history that it is often asynchronous with current events. So everyone that thinks the answer to a PSM conference or something like that is like creating the newest talking points to talk to, to mention at the conference is not understanding that this isn't the UN, this isn't Congress, this isn't a policy making body on the campus. First of all, they're only talking to themselves. And as we learned from some recent uh, 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 studies from the uh, foreign ministry, there's some concern that perhaps all the talk about it is actually creating more attention and more messaging opportunities for Israel's detractors. And it is not, frankly, a major um, challenge. I'll come to that in a moment. I do want to say this. When I talked in the paper about this idea that I'm a little nervous about these big, big events, and I'm much more interested in the smaller events, you picked up on the way this generation organizes. This is the way this generation builds community. They don't merely look for somebody else's talking points. They don't merely look to be ambassadors of somebody else's agenda. They want to understand. They want to process together. They want to work together and collaborate in a way, frankly, anybody here above the age of 30 may not completely get. The sooner we get over our own organizational presumptions or generational presumptions about that, the better. We'll have more to learn and more to collaborate, and they will really be a part of a very strong movement. So what does it look like? These uh, nodes of micro communities or social networks that can actually be activated by students in ways that did not happen during that prior history. Well, at University of Michigan, there's a group of students that formed to meet they like to put on suits. They like to uh, uh, go to Israel in the summer and get people to invest and work in internships with high-tech companies. There's a group like that called OFEC at NYU. Similarly, there's a group of self-selected, segmented students that is actually believes that the answer to divestment resolutions is not to counter them, but to get people to invest in Israel. Now, they figured that out on their own. We didn't have to tell them that. We didn't have to create an organization for them. We didn't have to create an investment from, for them. They've done that bottom up. And frankly, we should just be failing or investing in their funds. That's the way the community could be responsive and proactive about building upon the insights, the motivations, the talents, and interests of these students.